Hey, hey, what's going on? Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is Apple Funk, and welcome back to the channel. First time guest. Welcome to you also. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Let's definitely appreciate it. Let's get into it. Okay, every couple of years, I go through my bug out bags, you know, to check batteries and to look at things I need to add. And, uh, and I make a list of things I need to replace. And, um, and I don't think I have a pen or a pencil. I have a, sh let me see if this works, this Sharpie. Please work. Ah, it works. Oh my gosh. I've got a couple of ideas on here. Oh, you know what's funny? I'm going to show you this. Now, it'd be so like it was staged and it's so not. But um, I'm going to put this page in here. It has important notes on it. So we've got our pen. We've got our paper. I'm going to be really maneuvering this mic today because I've got a lot of moving around to do. Um... And I figured, well, you know, if I'm going to be doing this, why not put it on video, right? Anywho, you know, I'll, I'll go through my box of MREs and show you what I got in there and what I'm all done. But we'll start out with just the bags because these are the things. You just got to have something in case they say, you have to leave your house now. <laughs> you know, they knock on the door and they're like, so this is happening. You have to leave. I don't know where you're going to go, but you have to leave right now. And, and that is not out of the realm of possibility in the circum in, in, in all the things that we've been seeing, you know, all the disasters and all that stuff. So anyway, probably about 15 years ago, I made these bug out packs. <laughs> uh, and I maintained them, you know. So like I said, I needed to go through through them. I've got a tub here. And I could just throw this stuff in, too, because I like to repack it. It's going to be difficult for me at first to look at you and not be on the big screen. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's let's get into it. Let's see what we got. And it comes out in no particular order. I just know that I have to grab these two bags if something happens. Okay? Let's see. Yeah, let's let you see the colors, the ambiance. <laughs> we'll start in the front. We'll just start in the front. It's just random, right? Okay, we got a flashlight. You know, you don't keep the batteries in these things, because if you do, they'll all rust out. So, flashlight. <clears throat> okay, we got a sealed first aid kit. This is uh, like rope for fishing, like fishing, not fishing line, but like a, you could use it for anything. It's twine, okay, but you can use it for uh, tying off things or as a drag line for fish, I mean, and some of this stuff is very random. Some of it, I literally say I'm out or I come across, I'm like, I need that in the bug out bag. And so I just stuff it in the bug out bag, you know, so there's things in here that I've put in here. Here's more twine. And they, oh, sorry, I didn't show you. Here you go. One. This one's a little heavier. Hold on. Let me. It's got because it's got coffee on it too. Too. Okay. So those got. That's what goes with you. These two bags. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? I don't know why what this is, but it's an empty pen. Uh. But I don't get rid of anything. I mean, because, you know, looking at that now, I could cut off the small end. I could put some grass in there, some charcoal for maybe a fire, and stack it with some grass. And I've got a filter for, with a straw. Yeah, so. All right. So we've got another first aid kit. We got another first aid kit. <laughs> You got to be, you, you know, let me sit back, okay. <laughs> you got to be about your first aid, you know. <laughs> okay, let's uh, button this down, so there we go. 
There we go. All right, so we got some uh, dinnerware. You know, because you don't want to live like animals. <laughs> it's one of those ones you can freeze. I don't know why you would need that, but I'll put that in there actually later. Post. This is something. <laughs> we got us a bowl. And we got us another bowl. It's just, these are just random bowls. Because in these plates, you can tell they're old. They're not new. None of this stuff's new. It doesn't get looked at. or And it's been used, but it's in the bug out bag. So this is our, oh, and just in case we want a you know, little cup here, this is a little cup of coffee, coffee cup. I consider, I consider this to be an extra bag that is not trash. That's an extra bag. I'll drop something here. Okay, this is a tag from the table set. This is tender to start a fire. This is not a trash tag. This is something I could work into some tender to start a fire. <laughs> So let's put our dinnerware back up. Yeah. And and I don't really know what's in here. Okay. I'm a surprise when I pull it out because I don't look at it that often. Okay, so now we're getting into some clothes. This is a wet weather top with a hoodie. There's a bottom. We got some uh, orange flagging. You know, one big orange sheet. You can signal folks from the sky. You know, I mean, uh, it's a tent. You know, it's visible. Somebody can see you, you know, if you're out there. Once again, we have extra plastic bags. You know, that might be a... No, nah, I'm not going to say that. I don't think we'd ever have to pack our poo out of any place. Okay. Uh, you got to have the emergency blankets, you know, to keep the body heat in. The thin astronaut layer. Here's an emergency poncho. Here's a double poncho. But, of course, you know it's been used. I mean, or unraveled, at least. But Poncho. <laughs> Here is another piece of emergency orange sheeting. And these are huge. These aren't small. These are as big as this room. It's probably 10 by 10 at least. You know, maybe bigger than that. 10 feet by 10 feet. Here's another emergency blanket. Okay, we got some uh, hand warmers. Uh, so that way, if you're out there in the cold, keep your hands keep your hands at least warm. <clears throat> Some more, another emergency poncho, and a lot of the stuff. Understand, it's not just ponchos. That shelter. Yeah, you know, you get up under some bushes and put a tarp over it. You know, <laughs> here we go. Another, another, another space age blankets. I put a towel in here, a golf towel. <laughs> I didn't use it for it's a Nortel golf towel. Yeah. From one of my outings from back in the day, <laughs> but it's it made it into the bug out bag. <laughs> here's some more hand warmers, and here's some more hand warmers. I must be expected to get caught out in something pretty cold. <laughs> it was a plastic glove, but I mean it's not going away. It's not been used. It's going in the bag, back of the bag. Let's make sure we don't have anything else in here. What is this? It's a little clip thing that for the bag says Everest. All these pockets are empty. Okay, so that's one bug out bag. Now this other bug out bag is a little more technical. <clears throat> and you'll see what I mean. First off, let me untie this. You know, uh, I don't drink coffee regularly. Sometimes at work I get into these binges where all of a sudden I'm drinking coffee out of the blue, which makes no sense at all. But uh, And I'm drinking it every day, and I'm drinking a whole pot, you know, and I'm making more. But at, at home, I never drink coffee. So I don't understand that. Coffee. <clears throat> Small packs. <clears throat> All right, we'll do the front again on this one, just like we did on the other. 
All right, what do we got? Okay, in this we have a needle and thread kit. Needle and thread. We've got a lighters. Uh, we've got lighters. We've got uh, Q-tips. What else is in here? Okay, yeah, like I said, I've got a needle and thread set. <clears throat> and I've got some additional thread, you know, just brown. And I need to probably put some more thread in here. But I think... In an emergency, I should not go through an entire roll of thread. It's a lot of thread on a roll of thread. Okay, let's check this lighter. Make sure it works. Know how that goes. Yes, it does. Ooh, I saw that just sparkly, sparkly come up there. Hadn't been sparked in a while. So there we go. All right. <clears throat> so that's our sewing kit. We got to keep our clothes intact. Let me put... If I'm talking about it, I have to put it more thread... Okay. <clears throat> Let's get into this box. This uh, other bag. This other bag I think you find quite interesting. It's got a lot of variety. <laughs> okay. You know you got to have some PP, all right? This, you could tell this wasn't the original. This ain't one of them old school. This ain't even the normal roll. This was one of the bigger rolls. That, yeah, so you got to have it. It, it. it comes in handy when you're like, man, I just wish I had just a little bit of toilet paper right now. <laughs> I don't know why this is in here, but it's from an old coffee machine. And it made the it made the bin, and I think it was because I could fit these old coffee strainers perfectly in it. And then this is like a little treat bag, apparently, that I've made myself. Oh yeah, see that's sugar. Yeah, this is packs of uh, it's packs of imperial sugar. All right, the whole thing. So apparently, I came across this and said, "Plug out bag." <laughs> oh, there's also some more coffee packs in here. Yeah. Let's take these and stick them over here in that bag. Okay, we have our little radio, a little uh, radio, a little weather radio, still in the pack, brand new. You know, I mean, just waiting to be, waiting to roll. No batteries, nothing. Never, I don't even. I have never even opened that container. You know, I don't want nothing in there. I don't want no reason for this not to work when I need it the first time. <laughs> the first time, you know. So. Yeah. All right, now here we go. See, so this is now, like I said, it's about to get a little odd. <laughs> because let me preface it, okay? Like I said, I, like I said, if, if if you think about it, if you can think that it's possible that you may need that item, you know, and if you have room in a couple of bags, then put it in the bag. It doesn't. This may be stupid or crazy to other people, but. You know, there are things that you may think of that, okay, you know, I'm married, so we got to take some feminine hygiene products, you know, we got to have those. Um, we have toothbrushes, you know, you got to have toothbrushes to brush your teeth, you know, hair, basic, basic things to do your hair with, a uh, razor, you know, you want to feel okay out there. Uh, what do we got here? This is a toothpaste right here. Okay, so this is our little one of our shaving kits. Let's put this up. Put this back together. I need to add some stuff to this. I really need to update this stuff. It's really sticky. Let me get some different toothpaste in here. Here's the toothpaste. Everything else is good. I mean, we're talking disaster world. We're not talking about, you know, not disaster world. We're talking about making it, a, a, you know, two, three days. You know, three days. You can't go home for three days, you know, making it through that. Even if you're in a, uh, you know, you're on a cot in the middle of a gymnasium, this is this is available, you know. it's not. This is not like end of the world disasters where everything's blown up around you. This is literal, hey, you just got to leave your home. You got to stay in this on this cot with 500 other people in this place, you know, and you, you know, drinking water, emergency drinking water, you know, having enough water. Water is very important. You don't know where you're going to be. And I got 
all these individual drinking waters, okay? Let's put these up. <clears throat> and these are just basic things. They're not like... You just never know. You, you know, the people that you see in them... Oh, another lighter was in there. Uh-oh. See, that would have cost me. I mean, I could have used a spark or, to get a spark, but see... You know what? There's no fluid in there. Lighters. Matches. This is trash. That's why you go through a bug out bag. That lighter had a leak. You would have needed it and it was your only one. Then you're miserable. You got this thing <laughs> that's supposed to work. You've beaten yourself down. You know, your whole attitude goes south. More water. More water. More water. Water. <laughs> water. Okay. And then you got to understand that once you run out of this. See that right there? Let me show you. All right. Once this runs out, you know, you got to resort to this. These are the tablets. Okay. These are the tablets that you drop in the water to make non potable water potable so you can drink it. These are the tablets. So then you resort to these finally. <clears throat> Okay, now this part here, I need to do more often than two years, but I don't. Okay, we got a light stick in here, six inch, you know, pop, snap, lights up. So funny, I got this dust mask in here, but I've already had the N95s in the garage. I still have them. I already had the dust filter mask in the garage. I still have them. You know, I mean, I already had those things because I do house repair. That was the reason I had them, because I didn't like breathing in all that dust. I had the big ones with the cones and, and the N90, N95s. But that's just because I have a home, and I just don't want to suck in the paint dust. We need to check the voltages on these batteries that we got. And this is one thing, like I said, that's what I'm saying. I'm really, I'm really one of those, I should do more, so we're going to check it on volts DC. All right. There you go. I mean, for those people who like technical things, you know, it's just an amp meter. So we should get 1.5 across these. We got one. I'll show you. Get on there. 1.5, and that's what we're seeing. Now I'll show you again. 1.5 on the battery. Yeah. So you drop it. Bloop. Done. All right. That's what we check for. That's that's how you check your batteries and make sure your batteries are still actually good. All right. So we got to go through and check all these batteries real quick. <clears throat> you get out there, and you say, "Oh, hold on. I bought those batteries new. They should have still been good." You got no power. <laughs> you got no power and you're sad at yourself once again because you didn't check your family's upset at you <laughs> and they're tugging at your pant leg saying daddy <laughs> we're so thirsty <laughs> that's what's happening so we check voltages here <clears throat> All right, let's put our glow stick back in there. And our This is a face mask, believe it or not, but I'm not going to undo it. Like I said, it's perfect the way it is. Until I, you got to have a whistle. Emergencies require whistles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've never seen an emergency, you know, a high, a big emergency without at least one whistle involved. <laughs> Somewhere. Somebody was blowing a whistle. Okay. <laughs> Matches. 
And yes, I have them. Yes, here we go. And they're waterproof. Waterproof matches. But the thing is, if if my lighter didn't work, did I added both. But I do have waterproof matches. Oh man, hey, I got some more water. Alright, now these who knows what these are? <laughs> Let me put this up and take a sip of my drink real quick and then uh we'll we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, and I'm consistently doing things like this, but I don't put them on video, you know, I just do them. But now I'm about to have a space. I I'm, this space is dedicated, you know. I haven't shown you a pre preview a little it's not done. But I haven't given you a preview yet of what it looks like. Hold on one second. No, you know what? I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to wait till it's done. Till the doors are on. My doors got delayed. I probably told you folks that already, but they got delayed. No, they didn't get delayed. One got damaged in transit, and it, they're custom doors, so it's another 30 days. They were supposed to be delivered today. They told me a week ago. Another third that's sixty days for doors, people. I'm pretty upset about that. But I did rant and I raved and they gave me a hundred dollars off of a door. And so I'm willing to wait. It's been twenty years. Twenty? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's been twenty years, so I can wait another <laughs> thirty days. <laughs> okay. Let me read what these are first, and then you know, I'll hold them up there. What these are is a Datrex multi-purpose emergency ration. Okay? So this ration consists of 18 bars of compressed concentrated food. Eat one bar every six hours per person. Eat in small pieces and chew well. That's on a lifeboat. If for emergencies on land, you eat one of these bars every four hours in small pieces and you chew well. Okay. Um, I don't want to. It says save, blah, 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 but it's fold. Okay. Never drink seawater, even, not even mixed with fresh water. Yes. It says do not drink water during the first 24 hours unless sick, injured, or in desert conditions. After the first 24 hours, you drink 10 more, no, drink no more than 50 milliliters, one half liters, approximately 16 ounces per day. When water supply is nearly exhausted, no more than one tenth liter per day. So this is, okay, here's this uh, nutrition information per serving. Okay, each bar has, uh, each piece has 200 calories. Protein, 3 grams, 7% carbohydrates, 21 grams, or 55%. I think this is sodium, is 0.75 milligrams. Total fat, 10 grams, which is 26%. Saturated fat, 21%, which is 2 grams. Mono, unsaturated fat, 65%, or 7 grams. Polyunsaturated, 14%, 1 gram. Cholesterol, 0.378 milligrams. Okay, percentage U.S. Uh, RDA for adults. I think recommended di recommended dietary allowance. I think is okay. So protein is seven, and this is for each bar. Protein seven percent. Vitamin A one, vitamin C one, uh, thiamine eight, riboflavin five, niacin four. This thing has wheat flour, vegetable shortening, cane sugar, water, coconut, and salt. Okay, that's what these are. So when these run out, you know, because we're trying to make it just a few days. We're talking about three days, you know, but if it goes longer, we got to get into eating bars. Okay. Bars. 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 <laughs> bars. <laughs> okay. Listen to that. <laughs> That's when we're eating once we're through with the MREs. So we'll go through the MREs real quick. 
Hold up, let me see anything else in here. There's more in this bag. I can feel it. Oh, we got some more stuff up front. We got more batteries. All right, so I got to check these. I'll check those last. Okay, no, I'll check them right now. I'm not disturbing my regular routine. I need some new zip Ziploc bags. I need to put a box of Ziploc bags. Uh, box. Ziplocs. That could keep things waterproof. I can't depend on that. It's got a toothpick in there. But now you know what's in that bag because one day I said, even if you're in the... Out, oh, man, see? These batteries are no good. Or some one of them isn't. They've got that white powder all in here, so it exploded. It's this one right here. I think all the rest of these are good. I'm going to throw all of these out. Yeah, that's all been compromised. I need toothpicks. And AAA. And double A for that. Okay. Trash. Lighter. What else? Okay. This one here. Remember, we talked about this one already. But, you know, you need another whistle. <laughs> Sometimes you won't get the attention you require with one whistle, so you need two whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Now we looked at this. No, we didn't. We put that in there. We didn't look at these. Candles. This one's broken. It's still a candle, though. So this is still viable. I can I can fix that. Yeah. So you, candles are a good thing to have. Okay. Just a couple. And we got another little face mask in here. It's still all folded and crisp and nice and, and, and crispy and toasty. Put our whistle back. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we got up here? This is a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> okay. Unused. <laughs> Unused. Because we want a sharp knife. When we get out there, if something happens, we don't want to be, it's got all the tools, flatheads, it's got, you know, flathead, it's got its, uh, like, all the different pieces, bottle openers, can openers, you know, lanyard holders, corkscrews, uh, I keep my nails short, so, uh, bottle opener, there <laughs> you know we got to get our knives you know they're nice serrated blade you got to have scissors okay so yeah let's uh spread them out so you can maybe you can maybe we'll be able to get a no the can is so tight but yeah so there you go all right let's put it all back And, and we don't use that ever, you know, because it's for an emergency. Yeah. That's why I pulled, you, know, you put it back. Get out there and try to cut, cut a piece of wood and your, <laughs> your, not your blade is so dull you can't do anything. I don't know why I put this in there, but it has a... It has a use. It, nothing comes out of the bag except for the, the, the that stuff. Yeah. I could throw that away. That don't belong in the bag. I don't know how that got in the bag. Okay. Some basic tools. You know, with a little pair of pliers, cheap pliers, a cheap flathead, you know, needle nose with some cutters on the back side. Uh, another flathead. I should have a Phillips. Hopefully, I know I got one. Oh, nope, here. We said we need a toothpaste in there. We do. Where's our Phillips? Phillips head. It's only we have one on the tool, but we don't have one in this bag. Right, Phillips head. Screwdriver. 
Okay. So, uh, now we're going to put all the stuff in here. Because I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll load balance. I'll balance out these again. All right. And you can see it's tape because I always go in here. I like, you know, the people who know me, right, the, the, the very few, you know, they, they, when they, they know how I am. So <laughs> they'll come over and I'll be like, oh, here, you know, let me show you this. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so, you know, you got to have the heaters. All the MRE heaters. Because you don't want cold food, you want hot food. And you've seen these work. All of you have seen these, I'm quite certain. If you haven't, what you do, if you do, and I used to have them in, in the military. So what you do is you cut it, and then you just pour water down there, and then it just bubbles up, and it becomes hot, hot, hot. And you put it in there with your uh, MRE pouch. You slide your pouch in there. So it's, uh, you know. And they have tear marks and everything, you know, tear here to use. You slide the pouch down of there, you add some water, and it has a chemical reaction, and it gets hot, hot. It boils. So I would do it, but I'm not going to waste one. You know, you never know. This might be the last one in between me and sanity. <laughs> so, what do we got? We got some... Uh, this is Sloppy Joe. <laughs> this <is> Sloppy Joe. <laughs> Sloppy Joe filling barbecue sauce with beef. Sloppy Joe. <laughs> a, my, my, my Sloppy Joe is all sloppy and no joke. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Cajun style rice with beans and beef sausage. And in these packs, they have everything, like uh, crackers and condiments and silverware and salt, pepper, coffee. Uh, I mean, it has, like, everything. This is a meal, you know, an entire meal. This is going to last you a whole day. You only need one of these a day. You know, so, uh, anywho, yeah, Cajun-style rice with beans and sausage. There ain't, and that's the, all the stuff in there. And those are the different packs. Uh, what do we got? This is a uh, cheese tortellini in tomato sauce. <laughs> okay. We don't have to live like live like animals. <laughs> we could have our cheese tortellinis, tortellinis, beef roast with vegetables. All right. And so, like I said, this would primarily have been for me and my wife for three days. Yeah, I mean, and if it goes longer, it does, but three days. The beef and teriyaki sauce with veggies. Oh, we're back to the sloppy joke. <laughs> Somebody's got a repeat on that day. It would, it would be me. I would be the one eating the sloppy joe. I don't see my wife ever eat the sloppy joe. <laughs> okay, we got some vegetable manicotti and tomato sauce here. Should we eat one of these? What do you think? Let me uh, finish going through them first. We back at some Sloppy Joe. <laughs> sloppy Joe three times in a week would be tough. Old Sloppy Joe. You know, eight-year-old Sloppy Joe. <laughs> sloppy Joe. All right. Please, no more Sloppy Joes. <laughs> Sloppy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> if 
another sloppy joe. You know, I've never looked at these individual like this. I've looked at maybe a couple, but I've never pulled all of these out. And to know now that I got to eat sloppy joes, you know, five times, it's doing something to me. I might need to get another box of these. Sloppy joe. Please, please, if there's any type of mercy, there won't be any more sloppy joes. <laughs> okay, this is a beef patty grilled caramel color added. That box seems a little bit moist in there almost. It's discolored. I don't like any discolorations. You know what? I'm going to leave that alone. I don't know what's happening there. That could have been done when it's packaged. Beef patty, grilled caramel color added. <clears throat> no sloppy joe, no sloppy joe, no sloppy joe, no sloppy joe. Stop! Cajun style rice with beans and beef sausage. I think we had one of those, right? <clears throat> so, you know, she'll be eating good. I'll be eating a bunch of sloppy joe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put these back. Like I said, that sort of got me a little depressed for whatever's about to happen. But I bet I'll feel better than eating grass. You know, eating grass, eating napkins. So. And yes, I'm going to pack these up right now. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I should open one. No, I just can't do it. I can't do it. That has to be emergency. There's too much other food in there to eat. And you're sitting here munching on some nine-year-old food, ten-year-old food. <laughs> and they do have an expiry date. But, you know, we don't pay attention to those things now, do we? <laughs> Not in the disaster. <laughs> you know. The peanut butter goes a little further in the disaster. <clears throat> right, so, there we go. All right, so there we go. I mean, I'm confident. I got my list here of things. I need to add more thread, some toothpaste, lighters, matches, a box of Ziplocs, toothpicks. I need to add AAA and AA batteries, Phillips head screwdriver. I never pulled a C battery out of there, did I, for that flashlight. I have C batteries. Oh, I just got to add them to it. Okay, C bats, because I have a, I have about, I have a bunch of them in my closet that are brand new. Okay, C batteries. What else? Computer. Just kidding. Anyway, hey, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.